Mark, you're actually speaking here at FESPA and the title of your presentation is Inkjet Evolution or Revolution. Now tell us a bit more about that. Every decade since Gutenberg introduced the printing press 557 years ago has seen its revolutions. But it's the steady evolution of Inkjet from simple to complex, from static to dynamic, from slow to blindingly fast, from local to global, that has truly transformed communications. But what about the impact of a recession? What does that do to your revolution? I think for this industry, recession uh, really gives this industry a boost. Um, users are looking for costs and methods that match their increasingly scarce resources. I believe that uh, hard times drives innovation. So you talk about this revolution. Has it been creeping up on us stealthily? Has it suddenly appeared? What have we missed? I would say it, um, it hasn't happened quickly. Um, inkjet technology has been around for over 40 years, but it's only really in the last 10 years or so that it's really gained huge momentum and credibility as a viable cost-effective method for a whole range of industrial and commercial print applications. Revolutions move at different paces. Where are we going to see the impact next? Well, so far we've seen obviously a significant uh, revolution in the wide format space. If you look at uh, printing across Asia, across Latin America, uh, the majority of outdoor graphics is now done digitally. According to Pyra, here in Europe, um, something like 40% of European screen printers have now adopted inkjet. For Tsar, what is the key message you're trying to get across at this exhibition? Well, clearly here at Festival Digital, the, uh, the, the show focus is looking at the replacement of traditional technology with digital and for us obviously that's about um, inkjet. We have a number of customers here who are showing machines um, that really show how Tsar inkjet has been revolutionary in this industry, specifically in the wide format space. The machines that are here, many of them are based on the Tsar 1001. That really shows Tsar's technology at its best. It shows uh, much improved reliability, uh, reduced maintenance and the benefits for the printer there are that uh, they can generate far more productive time on the machine and therefore faster return on investment on those printers. The theme of FESPA this year is very much about revolution and innovation. So what are you doing to innovate in the industry? So over the years Zar has developed a, a number of technologies that um, have each time added more value and more benefit to the customer and each time Zar has taken the lead in developing new technologies that really raise the bar in terms of uh, cost performance ratios, but also in terms of, of print quality, of reliability, of flexibility, um, and as I say, ultimately affordability. And what's the significance for you of the environmental pressures that the industry is feeling at the moment? The primary thing that Zar can do um, is really look to reduce waste. And there's a couple of factors there. One, you could take the overall view that digital on demand and therefore inkjet printing reduces stock, reduces waste by minimizing the amount of print that you have to do that needs to be thrown in the bin. Secondly, from an inkjet print head perspective, the 1001 actually reduces the amount of ink that you use, both in terms of, uh, in terms of printing but also in terms of maintenance. And that of course in turn means less ink, less waste, which benefits uh, the environment as well as our, our customers. This time next year, we'll be in Munich. What do you think we'll have seen happen in the inkjet market in that time? What I expect to see over the next 12 months is further adoption of inkjet into new market segments. So not just about wide format graphics, um, but we're looking at markets like uh, packaging, textiles, as we see some of that here, decor, ceramics, commercial print. All of these markets, you know, they have the same kind of drivers on demand, short run, they're looking for reduced costs um, and better quality and faster speeds. I have to ask you Mark, revolutions tend not to stop suddenly, they keep on going, what are we going to see next? I think um, Zar is sowing the seeds of the next revolution. We've introduced a whole range of products and of innovative technologies. That technology will be adopted by manufacturers, they will see the potential of that technology in their machines. 
Following that, we expect an adoption revolution by the printers. They'll see the new technology providing significant advantages in those printers. And finally, we would expect the market, that is end users, to pick up on this new capability and the flexibility of what Inkjet can do. That's the four stages of Inkjet revolution. Mark, we really appreciate you talking to us today. Thank you very much and long live the revolution. Absolutely. Long live the Inkjet revolution.